scripture. I guess just for the challenge you had the other day with Embiid and getting him again, what you learned from that first time getting getting to go so many minutes against him? Yeah, it's just a nice opportunity. He has a learning experience. Um, didn't know how he plays. Uh, I think tried to fight him a little too much, so um, I'm gonna try to take a more you know tactical approach. Listen to coaches uh, a little bit more. So when, you, yeah, so when you came back from the All Star break, did uh, the coaches that say we're gonna take a nice look at you, or were you shocked when you know? Yeah, I, I honestly don't. I didn't know. All I know is just to try your best to stay ready. Um, try to get in shape uh, when you're not playing. So. Yeah, but I didn't know that I would be um, playing a lot more minutes than I was before. Coach Coach has talked about that you're very good in practice and with film and stuff like that. How different do you feel like as a player from when you started the season to now ready for this opportunity? Yeah, it's a different game speed. So that's the main thing that you got to uh, work on and get used to. And obviously watching film is a big part of it. So I've been doing a lot of that with coaches on the side. When you, when you said you, uh, you were fighting MB too much, what do you mean by that? Well, I know he's going to try to get me in foul trouble, so just uh, show my hands a little bit more um, and make him take shots that he wouldn't want to take. Just the fact that they really want to see more of you, I mean, what, how does that make you feel? Like, I mean, they've seen so much in practice, yeah. I guess, and then yeah. the spot duty you've had. But just the fact they're making a commitment to play you over Taj and Maryland. Yeah, I don't know why, they, why they're doing that. Um, all I can say is that I just gotta stay ready, and uh, my name is called. Just come, come to produce, come to play. So these these two games in particular, what, what, how have you evaluated it for yourself? Um, I think I'm getting better each, each game. Yeah. Got being more active and rebounding and contesting, pick and roll. So that's good for me. Do you, do you try and stick to us? You know, this is my role, or do you feel like there's more that you haven't even shown yet, maybe offensively too? Yeah, but right now it's just <clears throat> showing energy and showing that you, you know, want to, that you're excited to play, and you know, showing coach that uh, I come, come to play, come to, uh, come to stay ready and whatnot. So. Did you worry that that opportunity come, you know, like late in the second round, a lot of guys don't get that shot. Did you worry that you wouldn't get the opportunity you're getting now? No, I didn't worry, but it, it's definitely interesting now that I am getting the opportunity. So <laughs> just gotta take advantage. Sorry about that. Uh, has Mitchell Robinson just watching him play? I mean, have you learned from him? And does he give you any pointers? I know he's a young player too, but do you see something that, like, you're similar yeah, in yeah. some respects? Right, he's been here for a while, so I definitely try to listen to him and see what he does on the court, see what I can take from that. What, what's been the biggest adjustment? Just the speed. Speed? Yeah. I, assume, I assume you, like, through high school and college, you were the biggest, strongest dude on the court. I assume it's not the case here, right? I mean, is that an adjustment as well? Uh, yeah, it is an adjustment, but mainly it's just guys that have more experience than I do. But when you talk about going against a guy like Embiid, he's bigger and stronger than almost anybody. Like Mitch was saying the other day, you know, you don't realize how strong he is, but he also is shooting from 30 feet. I mean, is that that whole the entirety of what his skills, something you never see, I guess, is a, a really hard test? Yeah, I mean, the main thing is just don't follow them because they're gonna they're gonna look to call certain things. So I just gotta be smart. Be smart. Yeah. That's right. Der Derek Rose was talking about before the season how he found kind of feels like a kindred spirit with you because you guys are both introverts. Do, do you guys do you see that? I mean, do you guys have like a develop like a relationship there? Yeah, I have talked to him. Definitely had a lot of conversations with him. Um, so that's my guy. <laughs> do, you, do you think one, tonight? I mean, from the game plan, I mean, you'll, you'll see some beat. I mean, you're uh, pretty confident you'll be playing tonight. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. All right. Thanks yeah, thank you. Thanks, Jim.